Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simos 22. So this is still April, we're going to move on to May very very soon, but I'm just waiting for the drill to finish. As you can see we just have this piece here, it's got to here. Uh, this will probably take about 15 minutes to do, uh, and we'll leave the work of doing it. But it has also not done a piece down here. Now this has actually given me an idea. I think since we already have quite a large grass headland down here, and since the worker struggles with tapered fields, I might as well turn this lower section into a bit of a grass field because we do need grass anyway, well hay, for the sheep. We could also do silage bells. So I think, yeah, what we'll do is we'll hopefully very soon get a bigger drill. We'll turn this to grass, which we can drill at any time of the year pretty much. And yeah, that'd be very handy. So whilst that finishes off, what I do need to do is make a bit of money on a contract. And I think if I put the times to times one, so it doesn't get too dark, we will very quickly fertilize Field number five. I'm guessing that's a big field. But fertilizing doesn't take too long. Uh, field number five is just here. So that is in comparison to field number 30, which I did, which took about 15 minutes. Very, very similar. Uh, so this is going to be good. £13,729 minus the cost of fertilizer. So we're going to accept the contract without borrowing equipment because as it turns out our fertilizer spreader is already quite big. Yes, this is the tractor I needed the first time. Uh, now I don't think we need to worry too much about row crop tires. It isn't our field, not that, that should matter, uh, but yeah it's, I don't think it's picky about it so we should be okay using this tractor. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit dull Getting towards dusk. Uh, we have 70% in here. That might be enough. I do have a few pallets of fertilizer dotted around the farm. We'll get it topped up. It will also tidy the place up, although there doesn't seem to be much in them. And later on in the video, we're going to be working in the vineyard. We do need to do some mulching, some cultivating, and I think, yeah, probably fertilizing of our own fields. Possibly. We'll see. Okay, let's just put some lights on. Field number five is the other side of the main river. And I don't think I've been near to field number five before. We've been up to field number two and across to field number seven. Uh, but yeah, field five doesn't ring any bells. I don't think we've been around that field. So I'll see you over there. Yeah, I've never been here before, except for on the train. And I know the train has just passed, so I need to look out for it too much. And then field number five it should be the next field on the right. There it is. Yeah, so the crop hasn't even germinated. Should be absolutely fine with these wheels. It's just been drilled, like ours has. And, well, I think... Everybody's uh, seen the fertilizing before, you've been watching my videos. So we'll just crack on, get this done as a time lapse, and then collect £13,500. Sounds like a good deal. That's not taking long at all, and we don't even have to fertilise the whole field if we don't want to. It will say contract completed very soon. As I said before, if it was a case of cultivating a strip this wide, we would just finish it. But since the fertiliser is expensive and we have to keep buying it, uh, it probably is worth just taking the money when it says completed, even though it clearly isn't completed. Expecting it to say it about now. There we go. <laughs> Good timing. So uh, let's just go up here, collect the money. There we go. And yeah, it finishes it off anyway, so it still looks good. 
13,729 and we didn't even use a full hopper. So let's get back to the farm. I'm guessing the work has almost finished. It was a big drive to here, so yeah, by the time we get back, I'm sure it will have finished. Can we see the farm from here? I don't think we can. No, I can see the trees, but I can't see any buildings. Uh, anyway, yes, let's just turn right. And then we'll, uh, we'll rest. The only reason for not resting before the worker is finished is because the crop will germinate, but it won't have finished the field, so then it'll be at two different stages. It just looks a bit funny. And here we are. Back at the farm. Yeah, I'm, I'm desperate now to get a new drill. Because that one is so small. Obviously I have no idea what's going to come up in the used machinery market tomorrow. Uh, in game day. So, it'll be interesting to see. Right, so, has it finished? It has, I must have missed a message. So that's brilliant. That really is good. All the sorghum that we need is in the ground. It will likely need to be fertilised in the next day or two. There's no rush though. And we didn't even need to refill it. It did all that, except for the strip down the bottom, on one hopper of seed, which I think is quite impressive. And we could probably afford to get rid of these dual wheels now. So let's just park it over here. We'll go over to the house and we'll rest and we'll see what tomorrow brings. It's going to be interesting. And it's so good now that we have the big tanker because we can fill up all these greenhouses with water and we can just do it in one go. Okay, 9am should be good. Have a bit of a lion. And there we go. So £35,000 is what we have. The crop has started to grow. It looks very uh, exotic. It looks very nice. Uh, but yes, it will need to be fertilised. Let's just get this forklift moving and then we'll take a look at the used machines. I'm amazed we didn't need any of this. Okay, did that destroy the crop? No, it didn't. We'll put this in the seed shed. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this uh, forklift. I've probably mentioned that a few times before. Uh, but with it being electric and everything, it just seems so nice. Quiet. See if we can pop it around the side. That should do. Okay. Uh, I suppose I should probably store the forklift at the charging point. Which is just over here. Oh, although, look at our lettuce. Uh, they're going to have to be moved fairly soon. The charging point is here. As you can see. But we don't really need to charge, but it is on charge. So, uh, one second remaining, done. Easy. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great system. Right, used machines. We have got nothing of use to us. That's a big cultivator requiring 350 horsepower, a spade of which we don't need. That would be nice, but obviously we can't afford it. And a cotton harvester, which we certainly can't afford and don't need since we're not growing cotton so better luck next time I guess okay and so over to the vineyard yep everything seems to have caught up these are our new vines and yeah it's all looking very natural now I do like the new grass and the fence everything just blends in well it's gonna be the biggest harvest yet uh, but we do need to mow between each vine so if we get the Landini tractor which is lurking somewhere down here. There it is. Yep, we don't need the uh, the trimmer. Let's take that off. We need the mower. I don't think you can put the mower on the front and the cultivator on the back. I'm pretty sure the flail has to work one way. It's a rear mounted flail. But they certainly do exist. You can get front mounted flails. Looks like it's only going to work on the back. So, yeah, first things first. Let us do this. Oh, wow, look at our corn already. It's growing so fast. That corn is going to be 
fertilising, but not all of it. The far side, where it, which used to be grass, doesn't need anything at all. But the big field of sorghum, that all needs to be done. As we'll find out by looking at this map, yes, nothing at all on field 40 and 41. Uh, this, on the other hand, has got one application. So when that's done, nothing else to do until harvest time. But with the big field, we'll need to find another opportunity further down the line. But yeah, let's just do this first of all. I think actually what we'll do is we'll flail it, and then we'll fertilise those two fields. Then I'll come back with the cultivator, and we'll do the cultivating. And for the first time ever, I actually feel like we have a big job to do in the vineyard. This is great. I've been waiting for this moment. There we go, that's brilliant. I probably do need to head up the other side actually. I'm not too sure how much of an effect it has going on the outside of the vineyard, but anyway, yeah, really, really good. Satisfying job too. So we probably do have enough fertilizer to do everything. Uh, it might be a good idea to get our sprayer into here as well later. We'll just do everything in one go. The chickens are, as usual, producing loads of eggs. They're now living on the food which we had to buy them, which was expensive. But, yeah, uh, this will be the end of it. When the sorghum is ready to harvest, no more buying food. Well, even if this has no effect, it's still going to make it look neater. Looks very presentable. But I'm amazed how that corn crop has grown overnight. I suppose it was a month. Yeah, April until May. And we're finished. Good. It's a good looking crop. So we probably do have to have row crop tyres for this. You may say switch off crop destruction, but I don't really want to. I think it's quite a realistic feature. So we'll keep it on, we just have to be careful. And of course I am still looking out for a new tractor, which will replace the Valtra. Yep, that's the one we're going to change. But we're not just going to go for anything, it has to be the right horsepower, the right price, and, well, the, the brand doesn't matter. Yeah, if, it's, if it ticks the boxes for horsepower and price, brand isn't essential. Okay, uh, so yes, let's just refill this if we can do from that. There is a bag just there. That's good. And then, yes, the Matty Ferguson tractor is the one we're using. It has to be reconfigured anyway. Since it currently has the big dual wheels on, we definitely don't need the double wheels. It's going to make sense to pick up some of those lettuce pallets. As soon as we move them, more will spawn. But as we've established, you do make more money by taking them to the sell point yourself. But it's also very wise to <laughs> not just sell them straight away. Actually uh, get the best price possible. Otherwise you might as well just be selling automatically. I still haven't bought that pressure washer I mentioned a few episodes ago. It's because it isn't 100% essential. But it would be wise to get it. Right, so there's our narrow tyres. 
Uh, oh, actually, they would cost me money because it's the wrong brand. And they are much narrower than these narrow tyres, which are the ones that we own. Which is quite interesting. Okay, right, let's head off. How much is a pressure washer? Let's just take a look out of interest. Uh, categories, construction, tools, I'm guessing. Yes, four and a half thousand pounds. Uh, we probably should then. We probably should get, we'll give it a nice clean. I've never cleaned a tractor in FS22, so with our lovely clean wheels that have just been fitted, looks a bit messy having such a muddy tractor. Would make sense to do it after doing the fertiliser though. Fifty percent. Hopefully that is enough. Okay, I was going to do the other field first, but actually I think I might just start here. As we know, the working width is very impressive. So, uh, I don't think it's going to do the field in one go, but yeah, I better not go all the way over there. Of course, yes, we don't even need to do that piece. So I could even tighten it. There we go. Make it a bit narrower. Applying less fertiliser. Well, we're applying the same amount to this area, but not as not as broad. Right, okay, brilliant. That was easy. I can now widen it again. Put it back to maximum working width, 42 metres. And that is a very vibrant colour. I like it. There we go. So I would say across, come back, and then across again, and we'll be done. Then we can hopefully start working on the grass, but I really want that new drill. If only there was one in the used machinery market. I've got time at times 10, so something might change, but it's unlikely. We have trees. Yes, unfortunately I did switch off the uh, visual month thing. Well, it was on, so it was set to March. So that's why it looked like winter. The only reason why I touched it in the first place is because of those flickering trees back in the autumn. But now we have lovely, lush green trees. And yeah, we can just keep it on automatic now, so it's going to move with the seasons. So yeah, we just need to get this piece down here sorted out because obviously just a waste of land currently. I think it's going to be for the best. We have a nice rectangular part for the worker, doesn't get confused. And we've managed to fertilise all of that with not very much fertiliser. So that will need to be done again in June. But I think the farm is looking so nice now, we've got everything productive. It, it's all looking so good. I don't think there's anything in particular which could be done better. You may be able to think of something, but I'm happy with the way it is. Really happy. We are going to be making a lot of money this year. Right then, so let's just put this back into here. We'll take a look at the used machines again, not expecting any miracles. Something has popped up, but it's not what we need. The manure spreader. Now, I would like to have a manure spreader. But of course we need to have an animal which produces manure, which we currently don't have. Cows, and most likely pigs. Uh, so yeah, we won't be buying that, unfortunately. So the next best thing is to buy one new, and we would sell our existing one. This is what I want. It does require 210 horsepower. I think our tractors will be fine though, because the land is fairly level. Um, but of course it is £109,000, so unless I suddenly find a collectible or two, we're not going to be able to buy it. But I, I could rent it, I don't really want to. be good to buy it. Now what could we do? What could we sell? 
do we have enough money to be able to fund it? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, no. We're not doing badly, but being able to fund that is going to be a bit of a challenge. I wonder if the price for corn is really high, because we've got corn. No. Right. Whilst I think about things, I'll start to load up the lettuce. And I have wanted to test this for a while. Can I tow this trailer with the forklift? Because it will be handy to get it around the yard. I'm not going to tow it on the road, but it would be interesting and very helpful for yard shunting. Yes, we can do. That is good. Because I don't want to keep the trailer in the middle of the yard. It's just going to get in the way. So I do want to keep moving it back. And we need to move it back to here every time we use it. So, perfect. It really is good. I like this forklift. I might also start creating the pallets of tomatoes. But lettuce has always been my priority. Let's change my width of forks. There we go. And tilt. 200 lettuce per pallet. Is it lettuce or lettuces? Actually, I've never even thought of that. The plural of lettuce. We have lots of lettuce. You wouldn't say we have lots of lettuces. I'm sure you wouldn't. Oh, I'm going to have to look it up now. Done. Okay, so it looks like normally you would just say lettuce for plural, but it says that in specific circumstances, lettuces is also allowed. But yeah, I think in this uh, context we'll be saying we're loading boxes of lettuce, not lettuces. And it's easier, it's definitely easier to load the trailer. Right, well there we go, we've got lettuce on the trailer. Uh, no point taking it until we've got a full trailer and until the price is good. Uh, I think I might start to uh, store the tomatoes in pallets, I think it would be a good idea. If, if we're losing out, which we are, uh, as we've already established, then there's no point in having it just automatically selling. So let's put that to storing. We'll make the most out of these greenhouses. What I need to do now though is put the cultivator on the back, but I need to dig it out. <laughs> it's actually stuck behind all my stuff. So yes, this harvester here needs to move. Normally only moves once a year, so that's a bonus. It's moved twice out of the shed. And there it is. I don't think we need to wait. Yeah, so as for the drill, and drilling the grass. I think it's just going to have to wait for today. Uh, like I said, we can drill grass pretty much any time of the year, so we're not desperate for it, and it does grow very fast as well. Um, but yeah, we just need to save up for that drill, or get it in the sale or something, or a similar drill in the sale. Right, so as you can see, that's cultivating. And this should be adding yield. I, th I think it's 5% yield to the grapes. It all helps. But this Landini tractor, it's one of the best things I've bought. It's so good, and it, it doesn't even need to be used just in the vineyard. We've been using it for other stuff too. It ploughed all the fields. I'm pretty sure this one, it was this one, wasn't it? It ploughed all of the big field. Incredible. Head down this one. 
I don't know for sure, but it looks like it's more of a sort of subsolar design rather than just a standard cultivator or a mole plough. Maybe that's why I got that achievement which mentioned moles. When I was doing this, I got something that was it was a picture of a mole and it was to do with cultivating with this. So it's maybe like a mini mole plough sort of design. I'm not sure exactly. But it's a fun thing to do. Can we see any grape shit on the vines? I don't think we can do. Hopefully in the next month or two, certainly in the next month, yeah, we should see some green grapes just coming through. A few bunches. But anyway, I will continue this very nice job. And then we can move on and probably do some spraying. I think we do have to do some spraying here. Yeah, we'll do some spraying. There we go. All cultivated. Yeah, so the cultivated brown texture does actually disappear over time. Which is interesting. The grass still starts to grow back through. And uh, yeah, you can do it again in a year's time. Right then, so let's take this off. We'll get the sprayer put on the back. I think I already did fill it with liquid fertilizer, so that's great. We're just, just ready to go. And then I think that'll be all we have to do today really because we need to move on to June things need to progress we need more used machines but yeah we are just waiting for the crops to grow okay so my sprayer is currently stuck behind this trailer so I will pull that out of the way we bought this sprayer quite some time ago it came in the used machinery sale which was really handy but, yeah, I never used it, because it just didn't need to be used. But I'm extremely excited to use it. I've been waiting for this moment. So it's a really nice compact sprayer. Designed specifically for vineyards. So we'll start over here on the left-hand side. I think it's just going to do both sides at the same time, so that's really nice. Although, actually, hang on. Uh, yes, it was a new... These were new vineyards, so they may not need doing. We'll see. Okay, so you can see the mist. More visible from this direction. And that looks like it might be covering more than two, actually. Maybe I should have gone up to the next one. Yep, certainly working. You can see it applying it. So it did need to be done. And that's nice to see. It doesn't consume much liquid fertilizer at all. Okay, so I, I think it would make sense to go up every single row. So we will do. Here we go again. That's impressive. It's coming out of all these different nozzles here. Ah, it is actually changing the ground texture colour, and you can see it is only doing it to the one which we're on. That's good to know. So yeah, just go up and down every single one. Getting this all applied. And I think that mist actually, that is really realistic. It's not exaggerated in any way, it looks very natural. There may be a certain row which doesn't need it, but like I said, we don't really know. We'll do every single one. 
Yeah, it looks like these might not need it for whatever reason. I'm not too sure why. Maybe my fertilizer spreader caught this area? I really don't know. But there we go. Spraying in a vineyard with a special sprayer and getting stuck on a vine. I will try not to do that. Good job you can't destroy them. That would have been very destructive. There we go. This is the final one to do. I've really enjoyed that. It's these uh, more unusual jobs which are always fascinating. I've done spraying before, but I've never sprayed vines. So there we go. Always so conscious about hitting them. Uh, it really is a good job that you can't destroy them, though, because I would have destroyed quite a few by now. Anyway, there we go. You can see, ignore this strip here because that's the grass, just to the left of it. Uh, this great big block of dark blue is the whole vineyard, so looking really good. And that is the piece which is going to be grass. This piece here is grass too. Right, so we're going to put this back in the shed. It's been really fascinating, and it only used 4% capacity of the sprayer, which I think is Incredible, it must be designed for such massive areas, like at least the size of the field over there. Let me know what the biggest vineyard is that you've planted in FS22 without cheating. Finding the collectibles is fine, just without adding money in. I know I'm trying to do several different things in one go though, here. I'm trying to do. Uh, we're trying to diversify as much as possible. If I was just doing vines, then yes, it would be a different story. We could put all the money into the grapes. So I'll just put this away. And then we could put the harvester away. And it's four o'clock, so I might check the used machinery list again. And I think we'll probably rest as well, so we can see tomorrow's. I'm very interested to find out. Okay, right. In it goes. Very tight turning. There we go. So, anything currently? Nothing new? Okay then, and just make sure the sheep have enough water. Don't want them to run out. Uh, yep, yeah, everything seems to be fine, although, yes, they could do with another bale. My bales are probably blocked in. Oh, they're not. Nice. Well, that's a job for the forklift. Well, it's not really, but <laughs> it can do it. And there is another pallet of lettuce just there that's spawned. I better clear it, because overnight we're going to produce probably a full row. There we go. I think, although you shouldn't maybe stack them, uh, this approach is going to be the uh, the best one for us. Right then, pick up a bale. Ooh, you can't. And you shouldn't be able to either, because this is not a bell spike. So that's interesting. I like that. You've got to have the right machinery. We can sort of slide it across, though, on this one occasion. Yeah, I want the JCB telehandler. We could use the front loader still, but I do want the telehandler. Anyway, here we go, sheep. I almost wasn't allowed to bring this to you. I'll probably never let go now. Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> oh, good. Right. So, uh, they can keep that. The honey palace isn't full. Nothing else to move. So, yeah. Oh, it's rain coming. There is rain on the way. We'll quickly rest. And we'll see what we have in the morning. Delicious tomatoes. Oh, yeah. And that's for the... Uh, almost forgot, didn't I? The pressure washer. It's because I don't really need it. Uh, which is why I wasn't really prioritising it. But I did say we'd wash the Massey Ferguson, so we will do. And over the course of the next few episodes, we'll wash everything. Then we'll rest. Okay, so... Should clean up quite nicely. We have got a bit of flaking paint, but it's not terrible. We're not paying the price that they want us to pay for a respray. Good. And we'll put it back in the shed. So that's come out very nicely. I'm sure the voucher will do too. Right. Run over here. Maybe put some straps over these. I doubt there'll be anything in the morning in the used machinery, which we really are looking for, but you never know. I think it's totally random. I don't think there's like a pre... I don't think there's any pre... There's no pre-selected machines that are just published in a certain order. I don't know, but... Wow. <laughs> We actually do need that. But again, we ideally need a bigger tractor. The tractor could run it, but it was pretty heavy for it. But yeah, that is amazing. We do want that. 71% off. Oh, well, I didn't... It's not what I want, and we don't need to use it for a very long time, but I can't refuse such a good offer. Oh, okay. Luckily, we have lots of money to make in the next episode. Uh, but, but that must mean there's absolutely nothing left. Yeah, nothing left in used machinery. Interesting. Never had such a few stuff. Just have a quick look at it. There it is. So yeah, certainly uh, buying this for the future, for when we have a bigger tractor. We need a tractor of about 250 horsepower. That would be perfect. 250 to about 280. I wouldn't say no to 300, but yeah, that would probably be quite expensive. Anyway, we're going to leave this video here. Check on the uh, crop. See the growth. Yep, looking good. Looking very good. And that can be fertilised again in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>